Let's take a look at solving inequalities using the reciprocal property. Now, if you look at this inequality, in some case, some people, their automatic response would be to take this x that's on the bottom as denominator and times everything by x. The problem with doing that is now we have to deal with x, not just uh, one case, but we have to do a separate case if x is negative, another case of x equals 0, and a third case of x is positive. Because if we divide it by, or so if we have times all three parts by a negative x, or if x were, or x is a negative number, then I'm going to have to flip all those inequality symbols. And that's just a little more complicated. So instead, we're going to use the reciprocal property. Let's clean this up a little bit. Now using the reciprocal property, all I have to do is take the reciprocal of all these parts. So 2 becomes 1 over 2. Uh, 1 over x becomes x. 10 becomes 1 over 10. Now with the inequality symbols, I'm actually going to flip those so they're pointing the other way. And that is the reciprocal property. Now an important uh, note I have to mention, in order for the reciprocal property to work, it all has to be either greater than zero or it all has to be less than zero. You can't have one piece, the left hand side being below zero and the right hand side being above zero. It doesn't work that way. Uh, let me give you an example of why it doesn't work. Let's look at a, uh, a quick inequality that does not have any, uh, any variables in it. Let's say negative 1, which is less than 0. No, let's not do 0. Which is less than 1, which is also less than 2. So now I've got left-hand side is in the negative, right-hand side is in the positive. When I take the reciprocal of all these, if I'm going to flip this negative 1, it becomes... 1 over negative 1, which is less than, this one becomes 1, and this one becomes 1 over 2. Now if I flip those symbols as well, there we've got, let's put this together. We have negative 1 greater than 1, which is greater than 1 half. And that, plain and simply, does not work. Okay, so Let's use this reciprocal property in a question. All right, here I have an inequality. It's got an x in the denominator, so I'm going to have to use the reciprocal property. So I'm going to start off by flipping all my parts. I now have a one-third. Oops. I now have an x plus 1 over 6, and now I've got a 1 over 6. Now, when I use the reciprocal property, not only do I take the reciprocal of all the parts, but I do have to flip the inequality symbols. So now it looks like that. Our next step is now we can just multiply by our lowest common denominator, which, in, or sorry, we're going to multiply by whatever's underneath the six here, or underneath the x. So there's a six there. Times that by six. Times that by six. 6 times 1 third gives me 2, which is greater than x plus 1, which is greater than 1. Subtract the 1 from all sides, get x all by itself, I end up with 1 is greater than x is greater than 0. Almost done, I just need to write it in set notation to get my final answer. Now what I have is, my solution is x where x is an element of, now it goes between 0 and 1, I always start with the lowest one on the left. Now it can be e exactly equal to 0, put a square bracket, and it can be exactly equal to 1, so I'm putting a square bracket on that side, and that is my solution. Box around your answer, and you're done.